हेलो हाय मैम गुड इवनिंग हाय मैम आई एम गुड दिस डोर इज शोइंग बिहाइंड no no problem no problem hi, good hi good evening ma'am how are you ma'am i'm doing good how are you i'm also fine ma'am hi how are you <laughs> i'm doing good ma'am how are you good <laughs> so uh, is the grade 7 complete or is it going going on <laughs> how are your exams going on very tough but it's, it's going fine like that's why it's like mid term has started but then there are some other top courses uh, quizzes also going on so that's why i was i was thinking that we'll do it but then these are some quizzes which popped up this week only so that's why right. uh ma'am just for a second i am muting you both uh, then you can unmute Uh, yes, you can unmute if you want. Three students are there. Yes. Uh, Rajan, it's eight o'clock. I think we can admit the students. Okay, uh, ma'am, I'm entering the students now. But only three are there. Ah, uh, no problem. Other will join. Hi, Bithvi. Hi, Athar. Nikam, I think we can start with the session. Okay, thank you so much, Rajin sir. Nice to see you, Thanishka. Okay, Om. In case uh, you're not able to switch on your camera or you are uh, unable to hear us, then uh, as Tara suggested, please rejoin. Okay. All right. So let me quickly tell you the flow of the session. So first of all, you will get to know your mentor. She's here already. and uh, then you'll see a short informative ppt and you can note down if you want to note down something related to your course then you'll see a short virtual tour of the dashboard of olympiad success wherein you will learn how to access the reading material and all and then uh, there will be a short question answer round in case you have a doubt or a query you can ask that and get the answer then and there and then the actual demo will begin for which you've been waiting for so long okay so i hope the flow of the session is clear is it show me a thumbs up all right all right very good so let me tell you that we have with us priyasha das ma'am she is a subject matter expert of maths and reasoning and she's a wonderful person wonderful mentor she loves to interact with kids like you 
and her sessions are very you know interesting and fun filled and i'm sure you're going to love all her sessions and this is going to be a fun filled learning journey so uh, i'll not speak much i'll request priyasha ma'am to speak to you directly so all over to you ma'am thank you so much for this lovely introduction monica ma'am good evening to all of you as ma'am has already talked much about myself so i'll not talk uh, about myself i'll rather talk about what we are going to do so uh, just to tell you that in the classes the way we conduct the classes i'll tell something about that and i also tell the places where we focus on and what is the difference between you know grade 5 maths and grade 6 maths so i'm not talking about the subjects or the topics which are added additionally to your syllabus right now the things which uh, you will find a steep difference in is the in number intensity now they will expect you to deal with more numbers they will expect you to solve questions which will take longer time for example earlier you were finishing a question within let's say uh, 30 seconds 40 seconds now it will take you at least one and a half minute to finish a question this change is because of a fact called as what complexity and this complexity in mathematics is added when two three topics are added together for example earlier you were only getting questions of addition let's say when the chapter's name was addition number system you got simple questions of addition but now in grade 6 you will realize that even if i am giving you a data handling question which we are going to do in the demo also a uh, small release for you okay secret release which we'll also do in the demo one of the favorite topics of all the kids around there the data handling is right the easiest one right don't you people feel that data handling is really easy and really cool so we'll do data handling for a different way and i'll show you how in a simple topic like data handling they will add fractions they will add ratios they will add a bit of algebra and so on and so forth but but the major purpose of these classes is to make that transition really smooth you will not even realize but you will see that you are doing questions in a different way and you are now able to learn it in a much funnier and easier way so this is how we conduct the classes we also make sure that since you are planning for the olympiads we have to focus completely on the speed also along with the accuracy so we make sure that you just don't do the question right you also do it fast so in the classes you know that's the benefit of group classes that everyone gets a chance to describe how they did the question if at all it's different from what was discussed already and then we can say or check like this method will work only in certain cases this work will this will work in different cases so this kind of a discussion is really very essential for your holistic development so maths is really interesting if you break it into bits and parts and do it so we will see a small gist of that in our demo all excited for the demo all right so we'll start the demo in few minutes only but before that ma'am is going to show you a very important ppt which you have to you know see very carefully the important points dates and timing and other things will be mentioned about this course so please watch it carefully and if you have any questions related to the course or the syllabus or anything as such feel free to drop it in the comment section we will be more than happy to answer it all right okay then so with this i'll leave you for a few minutes and then catch you back with the demo so over to you monica ma'am thank you so much everyone thank you so much priyasha ma'am now children allow me to share my screen so that i can show you the ppt just a moment and we are good to go i believe my screen is visible to all is it okay so a very warm welcome to each one of you to the demo and introduction program for class 6 mathematics batch 4 as you are already aware that olympiad success is india's largest online preparation platform for olympiad exams olympiad success live is india's first exclusive live classes for olympiad's preparation School Plus by Olympiad Success is one of its kind of annual program that includes eight important courses that really matter at this point of time in your life. 
And these eight courses include mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning, communication, both spoken and written, Vedic math and coding. Here you can get one-on-one -on -one online CBSE, ICSE, IGCSE and IB classes for grades two to, two to 10. One-on-one -on -one preparation classes for international mathematics Olympiads like SASMO, CMO, HKMO, TIMO, Math Counts, US Common Core Math Competition, Math Kangaroo and PRMO. So you can meet our international rank holders for the year 2022 and 23 and for the year 2021-22. These are on the screen. They're all brilliant kids like you. So the classes will actually be group sessions with batch size of around 20 students delivered through Zoom by seasoned tutors. You've already met your mentor, Priyasha ma'am. You get three sessions per week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Timing will be 8 p.m. till 9.15 p.m with five minutes of break in between. So this means 35 minutes of class with five minutes of break in between, and again, followed by 35 minutes of class. So the sessions would include a mix of theory, practice questions, doubt sessions, and discussion on previous year papers. You get reading material and practice questions, which are available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. You also get free access to Olympiad Success platform so that you can practice topic-wise a mock test for both maths and reasoning as well as for logical reasoning. So syllabus is available at this particular link and fees can be paid by clicking on this particular link. Don't worry, all the important and relevant links have been pasted in the chat box and will again be pasted for your benefit. The fees for this course is 11,151 and it is going to be a 50 session course. The fee includes online classes, daily reading notes and exercises, practice of previous year papers and access to Olympiad success platform for mathematics and logical reasoning. So all that you require for these classes is your mental physical presence. And apart from that, physical requirements are a laptop or a desktop with good internet speed, with camera because we do not allow students without video in the class and headphones for better audio clarity. So as you're already aware, the preparation for Olympiad exams is slightly tougher than your regular school curriculum. So you need to spend some time extra every day to cope up with the curriculum. And of course, parental support is required at the back end to monitor the progress and all. So in 2022-23, Olympiad Success had students from more than 3,800 schools across India, hailing from 35 plus countries. Now the live classes for this particular batch begins from Wednesday, 21st of June, 2023. I hope you've noted down all the relevant details. And now I would request Rajan, sir, to take you through a virtual tour of the dashboard. All over to you, sir. Sure, ma'am. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Uh, let me share my screen with the students. Students, I hope my screen is visible. So this is the website of Olympiad Success. I'm just showing you how you can access the content. Uh, what you need to do, you need to click on my account. So once you enroll with us, we will share the credentials with you. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm just logging with my credentials. Click on sign in. And here you can see the student profile and all the content you will find here in the live classes. Let me show you. So firstly, what you need to do, you need to choose a subject that is Mathematics Olympiad. And then you need to choose a topic. Let me choose circle. So for each and every topic, you will find reading material and practice questions here. Let me show you how, how it looks like. So this is the reading material for the topic circle. Okay. Let me show you practice questions also. So these are the questions we have for the circle topic. Okay. All are MCQ based questions. And here you can also check answer key. Other than that, students, you can also check schedule here, like in which session, which topic we are going to cover. Like in session one, we are going to cover this topic, knowing your numbers, whole numbers and playing with number. And in session two, three, four and five, we will continue with this topic. And in session six, we will have a test discussion. So after each and every chapter, there will be a test discussion. Okay. We will share the mock test with you. You need to attempt at home and we will discuss the question in the classes. 
and like monica ma'am mentioned in her presentation we, we are also going to discuss previous year olympiad questions so at the end of the schedule you can see we have super classes so in the super classes we are going to discuss all previous year olympiad questions for grade 6 okay other than that you can also check holiday calendar here like on which holidays you don't have the classes and here you can see like once you enroll with us you can check here the zoom meeting and password for joining the class other than that students with this course you will also get free access to the topic wise mock test for mathematics as well as for logical reasoning that you can access here in the worksheets let me show you so you just need to choose a subject so with this course you can access for mathematics as well as for logical reasoning let me show you how it looks like so these are topic wise mock tests so for each and every topic okay you can find a lot of worksheets here you just need to click on take exam to attempt it okay and later on whenever you want to check your performance you can check here in the performance tab let me show you let's choose the subject first and then click on detailed result view check the result and here you can see the analytics like how many questions were attempted how many are correct how many are wrong Click on review, check the correct answer and the answer mark by the student. So, like here, the correct answer is A, and the answer mark by the student is B. Okay. So, this is all about the dashboard students. Now, if anyone have any doubt or query, uh, you can ask us in the chat box. Do anyone have any doubt or query? Please feel free to ask. Don't keep your doubt to yourself. Get it cleared. Somya Manvir M K. Those who joined later, do you have anything to ask? No doubts. They don't have any doubts, sir. <laughs> Should we clear our doubts? <laughs> sure, ma'am. So uh, let me ask some questions, students. Can you tell me like the days on uh, which days we have the classes? You can put in the chat box. Tanvi is saying Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Only Tanvi knows. Okay, I got the response from Ditvi, Kaira. All right, very good. Anybody else? Yes, the days are correct. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, can you tell me the timing also? Timing for the classes. So send the links again. Yes. Okay. Sure. Eight, Eight to nine fifteen. We need to mention AM and PM also. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yes. Okay. So, Paste the I links again. Also, I would also like to ask one question. How many sessions are there? Overall, oh, someone is saying forty. Is it forty or is it fifty? I'm it confused. is fifty. I'm confused. Right, right, Are you sure it is fifty or forty? The majority is saying fifty. <laughs> yes, it is fifty. Okay, so links have been pasted again. Okay, uh, students. Do anyone have any other doubt or query? No doubt. Should we begin then? Show us a thumbs up if you want us to begin the demo. Everyone wants that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rajan sir, I think we should begin now. Sure, ma'am. We can start. Okay, thank you, thank you, students. So, uh, Prashant ma'am, I think we can start with the session. Definitely, I am also super excited to get started. So, let's get started. As I said, that we'll be having a very very easy topic for demo today. That will be data handling. Whenever data handling hits our head, we feel like, oh, that's the easiest topic of mathematics which we'll come across. But Little you know that you will also be 
coming across statistics under data handling. Now, have you people heard about statistics before? Like mean, median, mode? Yes? No? You will come across it right now. So I'll share my screen and you will have an idea of that. We'll primarily begin with that only and then move on to the easy section. That is the different types of bar charts and line charts and other things like that. Also, we'll try to see how exactly we can use the functions. Okay, functions as in what kind of functions I mean? Functions of uh, fractions inside it, functions of ratios inside it and so on. So, let's get started. Hmm, okay, Athar, we'll have an idea right now. So, I would need all of you to answer in the chat. Once you answer, you can sit back and relax. Okay, so... Let us get started with some basic knowledge, theoretical, basic knowledge. Now, this theory or basics is related to why data handling is actually used. Like, why do we, this, does this question come to your mind? Like, why do we need these charts? Why do we need these tables? The reason is that if you go on denoting every water or like let's say suppose take an example of a coke plant okay like uh, you must have heard about the soft drink coca-cola or any other soft drink one day production of those big big companies is in tons many 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 uh, bottles of different different sizes are produced every day in that case if they want to represent this number in a chart with one figure for every water bottle or let's say Coke bottle, that would be too much to end up in one page, right? So, that is the reason why we come up with a simplified format of representing the data. That is where we see the different types of charts. Om, uh, since you cannot hear, it's no point of uh, actually telling you over this, but I'll just type it over and tell you. Okay, so I'll ask him to rejoin. Mm, and meanwhile, others, let's just focus back on what we were talking about. We were talking about data handling's use case. Why do we need data handling? Now, whatever data you get from, like, suppose someone, you are the boss of a company, and someone comes and tells you that I am from factory A, and I have produced 2 lakh bottles of Coke today. So that is a raw data, correct? That's a raw data and we have to process it in such a way so that at any point of time, if someone asks you, what is this? What is that? You will be able to represent it. I'll not go much in deep and show you, take you to the real part, which is statistics. Now, under statistics, we see the feature of mean, median, mode and range. What are these? Mean is the general average. If you are, if you people are aware of averages, what are averages? Okay, a quick small question. Two, three, four. What's the average of two, three, four? Anyone? Anyone in the chat? Okay, I've got three answers from Arjun, from Kaira, okay, from Ruchi. Very good. Very nice. What about others? See, the thing is that you always calculate the sum. So, 2 plus 3 plus 4. And then whatever you get, like here I get 9. You divide it by the number of terms we have. How many terms we have? One, two, and three. So if we divide it by three, we get a three back. That's how we calculate an average or a mean. But there is a shortcut to it. Whenever there's consecutive numbers, consecutive numbers, the middle number is always the mean. So tell me what will be the mean over here? This is tricky. No, ma'am, this is not really tricky. Manbir and Kiara has already given me the answer. Okay. Arjun has also given me the answer. Well done. What about others? Others use the chat box. Tanvi, very good. Ditvi, any guesses? Kaira? Tanishka? 
Soumya, give a guess. Athar, okay, very good. Athar, Tanishka, I got your answers. Very nice, very nice. MK and Ruchi, you can also give a try to this one. Again, four is in the middle. Things change. Things really become interesting when we have even number. Now, what we will do? Any guesses? When the terms are even, how will they calculate the average? Hmm. Now, that's the place where the average will fall exactly between 3 and 4. So, what comes between 3 and 4? 3 point, 3 point, very good, Arjun, very good, Kiara, that's right, I mean, Kyra, I am pronouncing it right, I guess, right, okay, uh, if I'm wrong, then do, do tell me in the chat, <laughs> 3.5 is the right answer, see, the basic way of doing it is you only take the sum of 3 and 7, I mean, 3 and 4, get 7 and divide it by 2, you get a 3.5. That's the how. More questions like this will be coming your way. We'll see them. But before that, we'll know about median. You know what? I'll give you an example and show you that. So before that, let me see if you guys understand this or not. Median stands for ascending order. If you place the numbers in the ascending order, the one which comes in the middle will be your median. So, if I take the numbers like 10, 15, 2, 3 and 7, then what will be my median? The first step for this question is to arrange all of them in the ascending order. And the second step of this question is to figure out the middle term from it. Try. Okay, Arjun, Kaira, I got two answers from you people. Tanvi, okay. Ruchi, very good. Don't feel shy in answering a question, even if you are not confident about it. The reason being that is, it is very, very beneficial to give a wrong answer in the class and save yourself from doing a blunder mistake in the examination. So even if you got a wrong answer in the question, feel happy because you are in the class right now and you have some time to improve on that. Okay, Tanishka, Manbir, I got answers from you guys, guys also. Very nice. So I'll arrange them. Let me arrange them for you. 2, 3, 7, 10 and 15. That's the ascending order. Yes. And when I place it in the ascending order, the number which comes exactly in the middle is 7. So 7 will be my mode. No, median. Good. That smile on your face and that confusion shows that you're paying attention. This will happen a lot in the classroom also. I do make some deliberate mistakes so that you guys can point it out. Mom, that's not correct. <laughs> All right. Then we have the last and the most easiest one, second last, mode. Mode is that number which is repeated the maximum number of times in the given series. For example, if you have 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, what's the mode of this sequence? Which number is repeated for the maximum number of times? That will be my mode. And I get correct answers from Atharv, Tanvi, Arjun, Kaira, Tanishka. Well done. Ditvi, use the chat box. Come on. You're not able to chat? I can see you saying something, but I would not be able to unmute you. Maybe I can send you a message and you can click on my message. I have sent you a hi, Ditvi. Just click on that and try to send a message. Maybe that will help. Okay, fine. So all of you have given me the right answers here. Very nice. Two will be the correct answer because it's repeated one, two, three, four times. And last but not the least, the range. Range is the highest value minus the lowest value in the given range. For example, take that example of 10, 15, 2, 3, and 5. 
seven we had. Can you tell me what is the range of this series? Identify the greatest part, number one. Number two, identify the smallest number and then subtract them. Oh, okay, very good. I have one answer, correct. Ruchi, you can type your answer in the chat and if you have a doubt also, you can type it in the chat box, Ruchi. It's a demo class. I won't be able to unmute you, but uh, I'll definitely unmute you during the class. Tanishka, Manveer, very nice. Excellent. Very good, guys. You're going good. The maximum is 15. The minimum is 2. And when you subtract them, you get a 13. Good job. You people are ready for the questions now. So in the short of three, two, and one, here comes the first question for you people. Ruchi, the range part is that you have to identify the maximum. Like here, take the example of this range. The maximum number I can see here is 42. And the minimum number I can see here is 5. So if I subtract 42 minus 5, I'll get the answer of my range, Ruchi. Okay? So what would be the answer? 37. That's how we calculate the range. I hope you got it. Please let me know in the chat. Thank you so much, Ruchi. Others, what are you waiting for? Mode. Mode is the easiest thing. Mode is just to check the number of repetitions. Manveer, mode is that number which is repeated in a sequence for maximum number of times. So look at that number which is repeated for the maximum number of times. Athar, I guess you are doing a slight mistake in mode and median or maybe mean also. Oh, I have more correct answers. All right. Tandi Tanishka says 26. Manveer says 26. Kiara. Okay. Kaira says 26 with a question mark. <laughs> Ditvi 26. Arjun 26. All right. Let's see what happens here. 26 is repeated one, two, three times. But what about 25? One. Two. Oh, lost by one. 26 is the right answer. Well done, everyone. Very good. Next, if we move down to the next category, which is median. Try identifying the median quickly. Median is arranging in the ascending order and finding out the middle term. Good, Ruchi. That's right. I'm having a close look on the chat. Okay, I got one answer from Tanvi. Okay, Tanvi changed her answer. Arjun, I received answers from you as well. Ditvi, I got your answer. Okay, Manveer, got your answer as well. What about others? You can use a notebook if you want to write down and check. Om, you can also try this question. I'm waiting for your answer in the chat. MK and Soumya are not answering at all. Guys, do participate. That's how we learn. Even if you go wrong, it's totally fine. Very good. No problem, Om. I'm telling you what to do. You have to arrange the R numbers in the ascending order. So what's the smallest number? 32, 35, 30, uh, 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 34, but one minute, 32, 34, 35 is repeated two times. Please mind it. That makes a difference. 36 is repeated once, 37 next. After that, we have a 38, 39, and 47. So 38, 39, 47. 
Now look at the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So of course the fifth term will be the middle term. Fifth from the left, fifth from the right. So 36 has to be the answer. How many of you understood it? Thumbs up. Anyone who did not get it can let me know. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for mentioning this, sir or ma'am. Um, it's totally fine. Okay. All right. Athar. So I'll explain it again to you. No problem. So listen, Athar. First, we'll arrange the entire sequence in the ascending order. So the smallest number first and the largest number on the right hand side. So the smallest number is 32. So I'll start with 32. After that, I'll place 34. Then there are two 35s. So I'll keep them next to each other, but write them two times only. Then I have a 36. I have a 37. I have a 38. And I have a 39, which I will write on the right hand side. And the biggest number I have here is 47. Now, when I finally arrange them in the ascending order, median is the middle number from here. So middle, how will I know it is exactly the middle? First, second, third, fourth, fifth from the left. First, second, third, fourth, fifth from the left. That's how you get the middle. Clear, Arthur? Can you confirm in the chat? Others all fine? Okay. Thank you, Arthur. All right, then. We'll clear this annotation and move to the next page, which is yet another question for you. This time, you have to calculate the range. All the best. This is only a two-step process. Identify maximum, minimum. Find the difference. Hmm. Uh, okay, two answers, three answers. Very good. Okay, Om. So as I said, there are two steps in this Om. Identify the maximum number. Identify the minimum number from the sequence and subtract them. That's how you calculate the range. So I got answers from Ditvi, Tanishka, Arjun, Taira, Nilagra, Manbir, and Ruchi. And Manbir again. Okay, fine. Then in that case, I'll get started with this question. Those who did not get it, please pay attention. The maximum number I see here is 42. And the minimum number I see here is a single digit 5. So if I subtract the maximum minus the minimum, I get the range which is 37. Well done, Ditvi. That was the first right answer from you. 37 is the correct answer. Option A. Any doubts? No? Great. Okay, then we'll move to the next question. Now we are going into something really easy. I trust you people, you will do that very nicely. Introducing you to the bar charts. Bar charts can be horizontal or vertical. They can be cumulative or singular. Cumulative means two bar charts together. Here, as you see, class 6A has two bars, one representing boys, another representing girls. This example is a singular or a single bar graph which has only one data in it. Hmm? You will, get, uh, you will, you will uh, come across many different types of questions. So instead of making questions here, I'll give you some real-time questions, okay? Remember, the only trick to get the questions right in these type of questions is to divide the question into simpler parts. Because I'll tell you one thing. I am an author. I've gone through a number of uh, psychologies related to mathematics. I am myself an international Olympiad winner for mathematics. So... I have been taught this one single thing, which I want to share with all of you present in the demo right now. Our average span of attention, the time span for which we can pay attention on a question is by max 45 seconds to one minute, maximum 45 seconds. And if you're a really cool and calm person, one minute. 
that means if you really want to crack a question which is a long one like trust me you will come across many lengthy questions in grade 6 so if you really want to crack that question break it into two three parts so that every single part can be completed within a minute and you will do that with all your full attention and accuracy example question number 1 now what is chocolate questions chocolate questions are the special questions you will find in priyasha ma'am's class these are either the previous year question papers or something you can expect at the coming year exam as well this one is a previous year paper <laughs> so you have to calculate the total number of people or total number of products which are produced by the company in the year 2006 and 2008 together without giving you any hints i want you people to try it on your own for a minute i'll give you a time of one and a half minutes to calculate it and then we'll take over this question and show you by dividing it into three parts go ahead everyone i'll have some water meanwhile I got five answers. That's pretty good. Hold on, everyone. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Arjun, Om, Nilagra, Kaira, Manveer, and Diti. Ditvi. All right. Now it's my time, everyone. One and a half minute given to you. So how do I approach this question as a student? How do I do this? I first concentrate upon what they need. They need all the products. That means all three bars I'm going to add. Second, what they need more? They need only 2006 and 2008 data. That means they only need this table and this table. And that's all. I first gather the correct set of information. Then I will add up these data. So let us add this now already. 2006, 2008, 10, a little more than 5, a little less than 10, somewhere exactly between them. You can call it as 7.5, okay? This is 15. So let me see whose mathematics is quick. Addition, 10 plus 7.5 plus 15, 3, 2, 1. The answer should be in the chat. The sum of these three numbers. 15 plus 7.5 plus 10. Very good, Nilagra. Arjun. Check your answer, please. Very good, Ruchi. It would be 15 plus 10 is 25. 25 plus 7 is 32. 32.5 will be the answer. Okay? Now, wait. That's not the final answer. The next part which we are going to do is 2008, 25 plus 30, 55, 55 plus 20, 75, correct? Now, were you people answering none of these because of this reason? That ma'am, we actually got uh, 107.5 as the answer? All right, so this brings me to one important point of data handling. Look at the units on the left hand side. They are thousand. What are they? Thousand. So if I multiply this with 1000, what do I get? Option B. 1075 with two extra zeros on the right hand side. Is it clear to one and all? No? Arjun? 
Any problem understanding this? You can let me know if there's a doubt. No doubts, then okay, perfect. So you meant no doubts. All right. Now, this was an easy question, but what about this? Now there are more filters added. More filters added. First, we are only asking someone to give me the data of pen drives and CDs. That too, only in the year of 2008. And then we will compare it with what? Keyboards in the year of 2006. And then calculate the difference between the two. So let us do it. Pen drives and CDs of 2008. Pen drives go by gray color and CDs go by white. 25 plus 30? 55. 55 is the correct answer for question number one, which I have highlighted. Now, that's what I was saying. Divide the question into three parts. Part number two. Keyboards, which is black in color of 2006. So, 2006 keyboards are 15 in number. Question number two also solved. Question number three is 55 minus 15. Can anyone help me? Very good. Thank you, Ditvi. Thank you, Arjun. 40 is what I will get, but I remember that, ma'am, you told us on the left-hand side, 1,000 is written. So, 1,000 means 1, 2, and a 3. 40,000 is going to be my answer. Is this point clear to all? Yes. Very nice. Now, one more interesting question. Okay? One more interesting question. And then I'll not trouble you more. <laughs> this is the missing data. So, this is not given. Don't consider it to be zero. This is not given. Can you answer the first question? I need the fastest finger first. I'll take the name of the people who give the first correct answer first three correct answers for question number one. Oh, nilagra has answered but unfortunately your answer is not right ditvi we have the first correct answer from you kaira not correct arjun not correct manvi not correct om not correct Atharv, not correct how you would be saying, ma'am, the bar of August is the tallest. And you're saying that it's not correct. Must be having this feeling, now. What if I have got a chance to unmute? I would have told ma'am, ma'am, you're not right. August is the right answer. My dear friend, I told you clearly that the month of February, no, month of March and month of November is not given to you. So, if it's not given to you, how can you determine which is the maximum and which is the minimum? Got my point. Good, Athar. So, when we don't have enough information to calculate an answer, we call it as data inadequate. What is the meaning of inadequate? Not sufficient. Ma'am. Had you given us the value of the month of March and November, then we would have been in a situation or a place to answer the correct questions answer, right? So, therefore, data inadequate. Now, what if the total sales is 3,25,000? Tell me how much sales will March and November do? What is the concept behind it? The concept is that you add up all of them and then subtract it from this to get the value. Anyone would like to give a try? Oh, I see answers from Nilagra. Okay. What about others? Arjun Manbir. Okay. Without taking much time of yours, I'll first show you this. 5 plus 10, 15. 15 plus 20, 35. 
35 plus 30, 65. 65 plus 35 would be 100, right? 100 plus 45 is 145. 145 plus 50 is 195. 195 plus 40 is 235. 235 plus 25 is going to be 260. And 260 plus 10 is 270. So 325 minus 270 is going to give me the answer. Anyone? 5. Ma'am, 12 minus 7? 5. Everything is in thousands. So, three more zeros. 55,000 option D is the right answer. All understood? Listen, I am not worried about your calculation right now because it's a demo class. I am not worried if you are not able to do the calculation fast. It's totally fine. But I am worried if you are not able to understand the logic. See, knowing what to add and what to subtract is the biggest thing in mathematics. <laughs> okay. So know that. Calculations can be improved. Okay. That's a simple fill in the blank question for you. Simple fill in the blank question for you. This, this question is a pure question of option elimination. Please make options as your friend. And you will see life is so simple in Olympiads. Option elimination. Good, I got one answer. But I won't tell you whether it is correct or wrong. Okay, we have Nilagra, okay, Athar, Manveer. Okay, Athar, Arjun, Kaira, all right. Good going, guys. Now, let us see this. So, someone is saying that in the month of dash and dash, we have maximum and minimum. So, we know maximum is February and minimum is April. So, February and April are present in option C and D. So, A and B is already out of the league. Now, please understand this. I'm very, very serious about it. Option like blank R is a waste of time. Can you tell me why? Anyone in the chat? Finding out the answer of option R or blank R is a waste of time. Why? Why? Type it fast, fast. Why do you think if I find the value of R, if I try to find how many shoes were sold in May, that's a waste of time. Very good, Athar. Very good, Nilagra. Very nice. Om, I'm telling. Your friends have also mentioned in the chat. That's the benefit of uh, doing a group class. The reason because it's a waste of time is because it is the same in both the options. So even if you calculate it, you will not find the right answer. So focus on the option or the blank which is different. The difference between March and April. April 90, March 150. 150 minus 90. 60. Option D is the right answer. Is it clear to all? A big thumbs up. Tanishka, which part did you not understand? Can you tell me this uh, R part? Why it is a wastage of time? I'll repeat it from there. R, finding out R will be a wastage of time because if I find out the value of R, I will not be in a position to get my final answer because both the options C and D have 120 as R. So that will be of no use to me. And whatever 10, 20, 30, 40 seconds I used in calculating that answer would go in waste. That is why it's a wastage of time. So we will go and focus on that blank which is different. Blank S is different for option C and option D. And therefore, when I calculate the difference between them and get the value of S, that gives me the right answer. Is it clear now? 
Okay, Kaira, you can tell me how you did it differently. Uh, I would not be able to unmute you, but if you can just type it, that would be great. Okay, Tanishka, thank you so much. All right, everyone, listen to me carefully. I have one final question for you people. That one final question is, how was the class? <laughs> you guys are going to listen to this question every single day in the regular class. <laughs> Because I definitely want to know how my students feel about the classes. Thank you so much, Arjun. That's so sweet of you. Thanks, Manveer. You found it superb. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks, Nalatra. So before leaving the session, a quick chat for you people. I myself enjoyed a lot because this audience was really very, very communicative. You people answered in the chat very nicely. Thanks, Om. Thank you, Tanishka. Thank you so much, Didvi. I'll see you people in the next week, Wednesday at 8 p.m. So make sure we'll uh, see each other very soon. Thanks, Arjun. That's so sweet of you. And before logging off, if you need any extra details about the courses or any other things related to Olympiad success, you can use the links given in the chat box. And with this, I'll take your leave, saying a bye-bye to you. Take care. Good night. And one, one thing which I want to do is unmute yours, you people and ask you to tell me a goodbye. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks, Athar. Thank you so much, everyone. See Thank you in the next you. class. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, Kyra, bye, I'll read your uh, bye, text here. Thank I'll you, read it. Bye, bye, bye. It says that P and Q respectively were max and min. So I just found out the max and min and the option. Okay, great, Kyra. We can do it like that. Thank you, Athar. Thank you, Riaz. Thank you, Kyra. And thank you, Soumya. Thanks, Manbir. Bye bye, everyone. Take care.